ever walked into a place so mesmerizing it feels like stepping into a painting? Imagine a cathedral so unique, it's been under construction for over a century, yet it captivates like no other. Welcome to Barcelona's crown jewel, the Sagrada Familia. Here, every pillar whispers a story, and each window paints the day with new colors. But why has this architectural wonder been a work in progress for so long? And what secrets do its stones hold? Stay with us as we unravel the mysteries of Antony Goddess Masterpiece. Oh, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join us on this extraordinary journey. Alright, let's hop into our time machine and zip back to 1882, the year our story begins. The Sagrada Familia started off pretty standard, but then in 1883, Antony Goddess took the reins and boy, did things get interesting. For Goddess, this wasn't just another job, it was like his personal pet project. He threw over 40 years of his life into this basilica, mixing in his wild ideas and deep spiritual beliefs. We're talking about a guy who looked at a church and thought, let's crank this up to 11. Sadly, Goddess left us in 1926, and he never got to see the final curtain call of his magnum opus. But, don't you worry, his spirit is alive and kicking in every corner of the Sagrada Familia. Today, this place isn't just a pile of stones, it's a living, breathing tribute to the limitless imagination of one of history's most creative minds. It's like walking through a museum where the art talks back to you. Get ready to pick your jaw up off the floor when you first lay eyes on the Sagrada Familia. This isn't just any church facade, it's like stepping into a 3D Bible story. Goddess wasn't playing around when he designed this place. Each facade is a visual feast, telling a different chapter of the Bible. First up, the Nativity Facade, it's practically dancing with joy, celebrating the birth of Jesus with sculptures that look like they could start moving any minute. Then, you've got the Passion Facade, and let me tell you, it's intense. It's all about the suffering and sacrifice of Christ, and it's so dramatic, you can almost hear the dramatic music in the background. And the cherry on top, the glory facade, still under construction. This one's set to be the showstopper, the grand finale of the whole shebang. Staring at these facades, you're not just looking at a church, you're time traveling through stories that have shaped centuries. It's like goddess turned stone carving into his personal storytelling podcast. Walking into the Sagrada Familia, you leave the busy streets of Barcelona behind and enter a world that feels like a dream. Inside, it's a total flip from the elaborate exterior. Here, simplicity rules, but oh, it's the kind of simplicity that takes your breath away. Goddess genius turns the inside into a forest of stone, with columns branching out like trees reaching for the heavens, and the light show, absolutely magical. The stained glass windows are like a DJ, mixing colors that dance across the walls, changing tunes from dawn to dusk and through the seasons. It's a light and color symphony that makes you feel like you're in a spiritual disco. But wait, there's more. Gaudi was a guy who loved a good story, and he made sure the Sagrada Familia was brimming with tales. Everything here is symbolic. The columns aren't just there to hold up the roof, they're stone trees, blending goddess love for nature with his deep faith. The towers, they're not just for show, they represent the Twelve Apostles, the Virgin Mary, and Jesus Christ each one a character in this architectural narrative. The materials and colors are like words in goddess visual poetry, each one chosen to tell a part of a much bigger story. This place is more than a building, it's a giant, immersive storybook. We're about halfway through the story, keep watching, subscribe if you want more videos like this. And let's not forget the stained glass windows. These aren't your average church windows. Gaudi was meticulous in planning every piece of glass to play its part in his grand design. The windows on the east side, with their cool blues and greens, tell the story of Christ's birth and life. Then, as you turn west, the colors warm up to reds and oranges, narrating his passion and resurrection. It's like watching a day in the life of Jesus, with the sun as the director, changing the scene as it moves across the sky. This isn't just a display of light and color, it's a visual journey through the chapters of the Bible, changing every day, every season, just like life itself. Climbing up the towers of the Sagrada Familia is like taking a stairway to heaven, but without the need for a rock band soundtrack. Each tower offers a view of Barcelona that'll make you feel like a bird, minus the wings. 
These towers aren't just tall for the sake of being tall. They're a masterclass in goddess vision, reaching for the skies. The climb? Well, it's a mix of old-school narrow spiral staircases and some handy elevators. It's kind of a mini workout, but the views? Totally worth every step. When you're up there, the city sprawls beneath you like a giant map, and the details of the basilica's facades are so close, you'll feel like you can touch them. It's a mix of awe and a tiny bit of vertigo. But wait until you see the Sagrada Familia at night. It's like the basilica puts on a light show just for you. The whole place lights up, turning into this ethereal glowing masterpiece that looks like it's straight out of a fantasy movie. The interplay of light and shadows makes the place come alive, whispering secrets you'd miss in the daylight. The stained glass windows turn into a rainbow of lights, making the interior glow like a jewel box. It's not just a church, it's a beacon of beauty in the night sky. We're almost at the end. What amazes you the most? Let us know in the comments below now. Let's talk about making your visit smooth and memorable. First rule, book your tickets online. Trust me, the crew can feel like waiting for a new iPhone release. The audio guide? It's like having Gaudi himself whispering the secrets of the place in your ear. Dress smartly. Remember, it's still a place of worship. Keep your wits about you for the crowds and the occasional light-fingered visitor. Because let's face it, pickpockets love a tourist spot. With these tips, you're all set to rock your visit. You want to know how it's gonna be? The build is almost finished, like this video. If you've enjoyed exploring this architectural marvel with us, don't forget to hit that like button. It's like giving us a high five. Got thoughts, experiences, or any fun facts about the Sagrada Familia? Drop them in the comments below. We love reading your stories. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and ring that bell. This way, you won't miss out on our future adventures. Lastly, let's not forget that the Sagrada Familia is a masterpiece still in the making. The expected wrap-up date is around 2026, marking 100 years since Gaudi said adios. This ongoing construction is part of the magic. Each visit is like a new episode in an epic saga, constantly evolving and surprising. It's not just a relic of the past, it's a living, breathing testament to human creativity and ambition. Watching it inch closer to completion is like being part of history, and that's something to tell the grandkids about. And that's a wrap on our incredible journey through the Sagrada Familia. Thanks for joining us and remember, there's always more to explore. Until next time, keep wandering and wondering. See you in the next video.